Me meeting on the Water Wastewater Commission on uh, Tuesday, May 2nd at 4 o'clock at City Hall. And if you take roll call, please. Alderperson Smith. Commissioner Engel. Aye. Commissioner Lodo. Aye. Commissioner Franks. Here. Commissioner Pasprick. Here. Commissioner Bushke. Thank you. Moving on to item B, uh, citizens' comments. Please you just state your name and address. Uh, Jeff Lurch, uh, 786 Green Bay Drive. I was here last month. I was just uh, curious if there was any progress for that uh, compensation for the water ladder. It's on the agenda for tonight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it might okay. be a little. It might be a little bit, but it's on there. For yeah. Tonight. No worries. Okay. okay. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Right. you bet. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on to item C, uh, minutes of last month, and there is a typo, it says March, which should be April. Uh, the water utility bills, wastewater bills, they could have first and second, we'll have the It would be changed to the approved the April 11th. Right. Right. I, I move that we approve the consent agenda. And pardon me, this uh, individual here, that wasn't last month, that was two months ago he was here. Yes. He said one more. Yeah. I'll second it. Got a first and second. And if you would also note that Roger is now here. Uh, any discussion on the, you know, the minutes of the bills from last month? Uh, Dave, I just have a question on this uh, water tower cleaning. I, I don't know, this is page one, I think it is. A thousand dollars, is that a down payment on doing this, or what is this? Annual tower cleaning, and which tower is it? I'm looking to find it, yeah, page. Who is the? Uh, it's, it just says water tower cleaning cold, cold incorporated annual tower cleaning, $1,000. If not, Tim, you know. Yeah, thanks for the Clark Street Tower. We are now uh, have to annually inspect it for DNR code. Both towers were done. They, man they annually have to inspect the it should, tower. It should and say that's... annual inspection so rather than cleaning. It, like no, you they're not the cleaning. Outside spray for no, he pollution. just, I got some numbers as Courtney will tell you later about okay. that. This is, he came in and he went up and he did Clark Street and High Street and did took pictures and sent them to the BNR. We are now required to do that annually. So this is the same fellow that does the cleaning on the outside? Yeah, house? Russ Fine, uh, water tower cleaning call. What yeah. are you looking for? Uh, if everything's good, everything's up to uh, where it's supposed to be, he looked inside the tank and seen how things looked in there. He checked this, that. Where, as you'll see, there's... And so why does this change from five years to one year? Uh, you have to go down to Madison and ask them. They change things on us, and we just got to comply. They change their uh, a little bit overboard in that. That's all right. And I just have one other question, Dave. Now, this uh, Madden Law Group, this 9625, is this for this legal thing here, Courtney? Um, that that no, that bill is? wouldn't have come yet, but we've had quite a few things go through legal oh, okay. recently, like the um, the sewer lateral insurance and those. Those quick check and see if this is okay for us. Kind all of. right, that's all I got. Yeah. So no, this bill didn't come yet for what's okay, in your hands. <laughs> I got it at eleven twenty nine this morning. So. All right. Okay, we first check up. Uh, we'll take roll call. All the person Smith. Commissioner Engel. Aye. Commissioner Lodal. Aye. Commissioner Franks. Aye. Commissioner Casper. Aye. Okay, and Roger, just she handed that single sheet out. Did you? I'll be talking about that later. I have more if you have it. Yeah, okay, that's on that Green Bay Drive. So you might want to get a chance to read it. Okay, thank okay. You. Uh, moving on to item D presentation discussion regarding wastewater facility planning by MSA Professional Services. The floor is yours, sir. Hi. Um, Kind of following last time I was, we were in front of you here with Marge and Keith, I realized you weren't there at that time, so if you have any more questions, obviously feel free to, to jump in. Um, we had given our presentation kind of on the summary of the facilities plan at that time. 
Um, and then kind of schooling out of that was uh, we had another meeting a few weeks ago with staff and also Roger was able to come and so was Bert and, uh, and we were able to kind of talk through the, 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 the options for the building. Um, kind of coming out of the, the commission meeting, that was seemed to be the one item that had the most questions or concern about what we were going to do with that building. And so maybe what I'll start off is, and, and we kind of had this analogy when we met a few weeks ago, this plan kind of has four legs of the chair here. And three of them are related to the treatment plan, okay? And you can kind of see them up on the screen here. You may or may not see the different colors, but um, we have things related to the, the, the flow and the hydraulics. There's not enough uh, flow capacity at the treatment facility and there's some flow restriction, restrictions. Kind of the discussions that we've had, and, and, and feel free to, to, to jump in, is that's really a needed thing that we need to do. We have to address that. Secondly, we have the biological processes. We have uh, the old blowers, the old aeration system. Um, that really need the you know, scum pump station, UV, those things really do need to be addressed at all for aging condition uh, and, uh, and efficiency um, needs. Uh, and then the fourth one is um, the, the biosolids. Obviously, you know you have very minimal solids, you haul quite a bit, you spend quite a bit of money hauling regularly. So those are the kind of the first three legs of the stool of our recommended upgrade here. Now, um, Updated treatment plan is needed for, for aging condition, but everything I talked about is efficiency. We're kind of estimating in total, you're probably gonna end up saving about $150,000 a year in hauling costs, in chemical costs, and energy efficiency costs through your treatment facility upgrades um, out there through a more efficient blower, more efficient equipment. Not hauling as often, it's gonna save you money. Um, only hauling when you can direct haul the fields. Um, and then the biological upgrade too is gonna to significantly reduce your chemical costs for phosphorus treatment. Okay, so those are the first three. Those are really the treatment related things that need to be done or recommending for the facility. Okay, we presented that in, 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 in some detail, I think last month. Um, and, but the fourth kind of chair of this stool is the administrative building. That was the one that had kind of the most questions. And Roger, we, we talked through that quite a bit when we were out there. And so kind of the, the way to maybe set us here is the, the cost, the, the budgetary level cost estimate we have for a new building, and the new building would include all the staff spaces, the offices, the lunchroom, the lab, and then and there's a there's a kind of a schematic drawing there, and and, and Keith, underneath all your, your stuff there, you've got a drawing of that too, um, is it the garage, and because that was really identified as a, as a need as storage for vehicles and equipment, that's really all piled on top now of all the, the work areas and the maintenance areas, and it's kind of musical chairs uh, to move things in and out to be able to have uh, useful space there. So that's the new administrative building and garage building um, out there. And we're estimating that's around a $5 million budgetary level cost, uh, trying to be conservative at this point, but that's the budgetary level estimate. Versus, let's say we rehab the building, uh, rehab the existing administrative building and just build, if you go back for a second, Ryan, just build the garage part of that new building. Go back to the other, yeah. Because we still need that space. That's been identified as being needed. So if we rehab the existing building and we just built the garage part, we're saying that's three and a half million dollars. Um, so we're look, we're, we're comparing a five million dollar option versus a three and a half million dollar option. So the question is, is what's the trade off there to rehab the building and just build the garage versus a five million dollar new option? Now, another thing that has, has kind of come up through our discussion and since then is the idea of the parks department. Now, it's our, our understanding the Parks Department is, has looked at building a new building or needs to build a new building. Yep. And the discussion came up as well, if the, the, the water and sewer utility are going to build a new building, it's probably more cost effective just to slightly expand this new building instead of building two new buildings. So that's, a, that's another new thing that has come up and may uh, make a reason why you might want to do a new building as opposed to rehabbing the existing. Um, so the other the other drawing that you that that uh, Dave has here, Brian also has it up here. Is well, if we were to rehab the existing building, what might that actually look like? And this is probably hard to see up here, but we went through at our meeting and 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 identified. Well, this is how we would rehab the building if we if, if this was the option, and we think that there's we could get the spaces there that you that you think you've identified and you need. But I think clearly through the discussion with staff it would not be far from ideal. 
and we would also still be having a 40 year old building that we're going to be relying on when, when i went through uh, at home when i got the packet i blew it up just as big as i can i've got a pretty good sized monitor and i put this over <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like to save a million and a half if we could. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but well, my question is, are we going to be able to get the ADA compliance? Are we going to get the, can we with rehabbing the building? I, I, I think we can get the ADA compliance. The way we would do it is that the public entrance would be downstairs. So we'd have to reconfigure the official, the public entrance where the ADA compliance would be how we would achieve that ADA compliance. I guess I'm mainly interested in, in what are we going to lose if we don't build a new building? Because it looks to me like we're going to have to take this out to the shell, and even the shell's not in very good shape. Mm -hmm. So it's, it will be rebuilding this building. Correct. So what uh, what are we going to gain for our million and a half if we go throughout the new building? For the new building? Um, I think you're getting a new building. Um, I think we identified in our meeting, you know, there's there's still a certain level of unknowns until we really dig into the building, what we might find structurally. Um, you know, just through this evaluation, it, 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 it's really hard to know what we're, what we're gonna run into. So there's a little bit of a risk there. The other thing that we had talked about was maybe the possibility of putting, a, like a, what if we put a pitched roof on this existing building potentially, as opposed to a flat roof. Well, we that's probably another three, $400,000 to add a pitched roof and, uh, you know, talking to our architects, it's really, is that, that adds on to the three and a half million. And it's really, they just didn't think it would be a worthwhile effort to do that. The, the, the more modern flat roofs, they come with a 20 year warranty. You know, you're gonna get, I think the longevity out of a more modern uh, flat roof. And really you just be adding another roof on there. And so you're gonna add more to that. That was the one thing we had kind of talked about. We had a conversation with the building inspector for the city here too, and he's been to the building and looked at things for me like help my tiles are popping up on the floor <laughs> what's going on but his recommendation too was right from him to level the place because so am i am i reading this right that if we tear the old building down and put up a new one to the water and sewer rate payers the, the start new is only going to cost two dollars a month more mm -hmm. so why would we save the old one then that's why Two dollars a month, yeah. twenty-four dollars a year for you, Roger. I, 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 yes, I want to say two dollars a month. <laughs> really? The building well, inspection well, I, I'm, perspective I'm, was if I'm if, you were, to, month, I'm if you were to save that building. I'm being a, I'm being a little facetious here. Uh, I mean, just you know, from the standpoint of you know, what are we presenting to the to the to the citizens? Twenty-four dollars a year for yeah, a new building, the same that building that's had issues well, for years. years. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> one of the other things we talked about too is that if we rehab the old building, we anticipate there would probably be higher maintenance costs than if we did a new building. So I think we put that in our favor towards a new building as well. Do we have any any figures we can throw out? Because obviously, you know, if we're going to sell this, mm -hmm. we're going to have we're going to have good numbers to sell it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got to make sense. That's the oh, house. yeah. Sold it. I was concerned when this first started because there was an awful lot of uh, pride taken in, in the solar outhouse out here when they built it to begin with, our passive solar outhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't hear that too much anymore. And, and it, I look at it and look at all the problems it has, and I, and I am concerned, you know, 30 years from now, what it's going to look like if we rehab that and don't put up a new building. Mm -hmm. I also am pretty sensitive to the idea that, uh, you know, as a ratepayer, uh, I wouldn't mind saving a little every month, too. So. Uh, I, I'm just uh, looking out. I'm torn. I guess well, let me put it that way. I'm torn. I don't. I don't have a solid answer. On this. No, numbers from our building inspector when he said he said in the past the average cost of rehabbing a building with unknowns you can anticipate 10 to 15 percent of Over. the cost. You know, being an overlap on on unknowns. He said today's day and age and dollars you can anticipate probably 20 to 25 percent overages. When in costs and unknowns. When do we need to have a decision on this? Is it tonight or? I don't think I have action on there. I think you guys are just trying to do your final. Well, our goal is to finalize the plan. We have kind of a number and say, this is the plan that's going to the DNR. And then the subsequent piece of that would be, because we have to hold, we have to statutorily hold a public hearing, not to mention you probably want to do that yourselves. But 
that and that would be what would be kind of presented at that public hearing. Here's the option that the that the commission is presenting to the to the public. And so that's kind of where we're that'd be the next official step is to finalize the plan and hold a public hearing. Okay. What is the age of the current building? Uh, it's about 40 years old. 40 years old. Yeah. How much uh, what about maintenance have we done to that the eating uh um well, the entire HVAC system is kind of bandaged every year. There's a tunnel, too, that's going underneath, so we're losing efficiency connecting both buildings. Mm -hmm. um, the roofs are patched. We move the copy machine so that the tile doesn't fall on it when it rains. Um, but other than that, it's great. Other than that, it's fine. <laughs> other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, everything's great. <laughs> the mold problem, always been a mold problem. Here. Yeah, we can tell. We crawl through the ceiling tiles and find the dead mice when we... We know they're there. You know, I, I was really disappointed when I learned that too, because that when we were one of what seventy communities that built that building. It, yeah, it was a at yeah. that time. It was that that was kind of the state of the art. State of the art. Not a new one association, yeah. and they're all falling down. Yeah. Is, is, is there a way we can quantify the expected maintenance costs of if we moved in a new building versus let's say we rehab this here. My assumption is it's going to cost us more to maintain an old building that's rehab for the first 10 years than it is going to be main, for maintenance costs on a brand new building. Right. Do we have a way to, to, to put some numbers to that? I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could. It's, 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 it's going to be a guess. I mean, yeah. intuitively, I would expect it to be more to maintain the old building, the other rehab, but for, you know, mm -hmm. do everything we say we need to do to it. Yeah. I would totally have my assumption that it would still cost more. I would guess we could come up with a number to say, throw this out, but 25% more. Something yeah. we could probably come up with a number like like that. The, the other yeah. question is, are we really gaining much for the passive solar? Is it going to make a negative difference if we put a conventional building up there and have to heat it conventionally with modern equipment? I don't. I don't think a lot of those those. Most systems I don't think are where they were all that functional anymore. The solar yeah. heating under was a pipe dream. It never did work right. Yeah, <laughs> no. It's well, the way that building is heated is it's, it's getting boiler heat from the main boiler over in the service building. The travels underground, so you're losing efficiency through. There's a big tunnel underneath okay. the travels. You're losing all your heat. Well, my mind is getting more made up all the time. <laughs> so, the tunnel, so the tunnel's warm. The, yeah, if, we, if you know where the tunnel is, tunnel, yeah. <laughs> Just a well, we build the new building, I would expect zero maintenance basically for 20 years. Besides clean, right? Basic, right. basic, right. I mean, I basic maintenance. And you're going to get, I mean, you're going to get warranties that come along with the new yeah. and all those. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to be patching any roofs. We're not going to be sealing any holes. We're not, yeah. We're, you're yeah. going to miss those tiles popping on the floor. Though. Well, but, I, but there's a public perception there's outside the building. Like like it's all that outside. Yeah. Roger, if you remember the other thing we talked about, and Steve's reminding me of this, is if we go the rehab building route, then you have two buildings to maintain. You have the garage, the new garage that you would build, you still need that, and you would have the old building. In the new building option, you only have one building to operate and maintain. Yeah, it's in <laughs> Tim, the lectern is all yours. <laughs> Just not a fan of freestanding buildings. Yeah. I mean, the town's got them all over. No, I think that's a fair, put them fair together. point. Mm -hmm. I, I think two I think, years, you know, do everything. I think we need to figure out how much additional space parks and rec would need. Um, you said they had some kind of a concept, right? They did have, they had an initial, I just talked to John before I got here to get, get some idea, but they had an initial concept of what they were looking at. Just basically a storage space and park a couple of vehicles for. But the, you know, but the cost they got was way, way more than we think we could spend. In parks? parks. Well, so with this incorporation, would I mean, one building versus two standalones is going to be yeah, 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 yeah. less money. The old Goodyear building for parks and recreation department. Don't know what's going on there. That's, that's what I understand. Is it? That's that's what what you're old Goodyear building. That's empty. Well, Foyt, I thought it was taking that. Don't was it? I, I don't know. Yeah. Boy, that's perfect for them. Boy, it's like a thought. It's quite a ways away from everything they're doing. Yeah, it's not so much Is it down there? Maybe. The other thing, Ron, if you go to that site plan, the other thing that the, the new building accomplishes and what we were trying to do is getting, moving the building out and having public access. Because right now the public can get in the facility, which we don't think is, is great for safety, safety reasons. 
Um, having a new building, we could make that access to the, they wouldn't be able to get inside the fence the treatment plant. And the access would be for the public to be. To but be like there. a vestibule, you have to. Right, you have like to get through, you have to get past court there. 